Aloha and welcome to Experience 48A, the Next.js application template. We are going to be playing with the Next.js application template and specifically we're going to update the stuff, this stuff page and we're going to add the remove column and the button to actually remove stuff items from the database. So we're going to familiarize ourselves with the template. So first read through the template, install the template. I've already done this. I've got it cloned to my um, laptop. I've also set up the .emv file and I created um, the database that we're going to be using. And I've set up my username and password in the database URL. I did the MPX migration. And then I did the NPX Prisma seed so that all the tables are done. And let me just make sure that I did Prisma DB seed just to make sure it's all in there. Okay. Now for the WAD, we're going to start our timer. Timer. over to the side. Where am I? Okay, so now I want to create a branch. I already did it once, so I'm going to create a branch called my next JS2. Publish the branch. Run the, I'm on that, my branch, good. Run the application. Make sure the application is working. Reload. Okay, login is John. Okay, so this is, I've been, I have two baskets in here now because I was fooling around. Um, that was so that I didn't clear the database, basically what happened, but that's fine, that's not a problem. So now we want to add a new column to the list stuff page. So that would be under source, app, list, page a new column I forgot to type and so it should have a new column I've got my remove column and since we haven't updated the stuff items we don't have anything there so now edit the stuff item component to add a button that's displaying a trash can. So now we go edit the component, stuff item. After the edit link, I want a TD, but it's a button from React Bootstrap. And it has a Crash icon. And I want the variant. Oh, no, sorry, the, not the icon. The button has a variant. If I can, again, type of danger. see so I've got my little danger button with a trash icon excellent now I need to attach an on click handler and so what I when that happens so I'm gonna say I'm gonna create a function const uh, 
remove item, which takes an ID, which is a number. And right now we're just going to console log remove item with ID and then put the semicolon. But since we did this, this component is no longer a server component. It is a client side component. So we need to say use client. And then the on click here. is remove item uh, and we're going to pass in ID but now this is a function not a function call and so now when we run this we should have our buttons. Go in the console. Clear it. Press the button. I get the remove ID 8, 10, and 11. So that is working. So we get that. Now to complete the wad, we need to replace the console log with code to actually remove the item. So this here, instead of console, just console log, we want to actually do delete stuff from libdb items, and we pass in the ID. And then I can comment out this console log. Reload the page need my console anymore and it deleted it and refreshed we're here say goodbye to the bicycle and it is successfully deleting stuff and it took us six minutes. Excellent. Very easy. So it'd be a thing if you want to do it again. And that is it for the wad. Thank you very much.